Hello, today we are going to blow things up. Now we're in space, so I have a spaceship here. This is my one person fighter spaceship. I'm going to blow it up. So let's go to the full view here. And there it is. I'm Dr. Kevin Kirk, 3dtopic.com. And here's how I destroy my own spaceship. Now I can go into the create into the space warps. And it's in geometric deformable. I have something called a bomb. It's a very basic way to blow things up. So I just kind of click. Let's take a look at the other viewpoints. If I want to move it around, I can. Let's pull this up so it's kind of pushing down on it this way. And I'll strike it kind of from the back or side over here. And blow it up that way. So, okay, now the way to link these things is to go into the bind to space warp. Now you click on the space warp you want, in this case is the bomb. So you click on it and you drag it to what you want to blow up. Now you can tell it's okay when it has that kind of wavy pattern. Now it is linked. So let's take a look at this bomb here, which is still selected. I'm going to the modify. It's got the strength, spin, fall off, even a gravity in there. So if I do it right now, it's going to be pretty weak. It starts at 5. This one blows up. I'll set it about to 15. So let's watch this. and just kind of pops kind of like a deflated balloon, which is pretty bad. Let's take a look at this up here. And it just kind of pops open and falls down, which is bad. First of all, no gravity in space in general. So let's set that to 0. Let's see what we've got now pops and it's kind of very slowly breaks apart. And you can tell it actually breaks apart it's separating those polygons. Alright, well let's keep it playing as we play with it. Let's keep it rolling. And we'll set up the strength to about 5. Boom. So it's kind of detonating the whole thing and blowing it apart. Now it looks far too regular. It looks far too even as we're doing this. So we don't want that. So I have to add some chaos. So I'll add some chaos to about 5. Boom. Blam. Okay, maybe that's a bit too much. Set that down to about two. Let's see what we've got. And the spaceship blows up totally and separates. Now you can tell it's all in a whole bunch of triangles that it breaks up. Now the fragment size is a minimum of one triangle. In other words, one polygon. Max of one. We'll change this a bit. Let's do a minimum of about two. And a max of about ten. So we'll have some more cohesive shapes. Boom. And maybe that's not too interesting. Let's bring a max to about five. See what we get. Let's try a minimum of one. I tend to like that better. And the whole thing just kind of blows up into bits. So there we go. That's how you break it up. Now, to make it look a little more real, do more chaos. Uh, let's see. Spin is good. Let's add some spin. If we add some spin, thing flutters and flitters. Almost looks like butterflies. So be very careful with that. Let's just do like a 0.5 for spin. That looks pretty good. Alright, so now I have it blowing up. Strength, be careful with this. If I increase this a lot, boom, and it's gone. So it depends how fast you want to hit it. If I do strength of 2, it's very slow. It doesn't really make sense. It doesn't, it's like origami falling apart. Let's do a strength of about 10. Let's see what we got. Boom, blows up pretty nice. Flitters about, but it's definitely destroyed. Let's try about 15 for fun. There we go. That's pretty good. So if it's going out in space, and you have this in a movie, it's going to detonate pretty well, and the whole thing is, well, effectively destroyed if it gets hit by a missile or something. That's how you blow things up. You have the P-bomb waiting for it, and you detonate it. You have that as the recipient. And once again, that's bind to space warps, and you can blow up pretty much anything with polygons. Alright. Hope you enjoy it. Have fun blowing each other up.